Hello everyone, this is Nelson Joseph Minto. I'm the CEO and founder of Nelson ICT Services Gembu. In this episode, we are going to look at Obludin Waik Part CA. And as you all know, the period is already elapsing. Uh, sorry for not uploading this earlier. So for you to upload your Waik Part CA, the first thing you should do is to make sure the app is there you are either using a new system or using an old one if you are using an old one all you have to do is to go to administration generate next class year you select the year you want to uh, promote them from and you select when you select the year the list of the student pops up you select i have uploaded the year i want to promote them from and then click the promote students if you are using a new computer and or maybe your uh, data was missing you have to come here restore data from online portal so for this option this is for schools that you are using a new system to upload you reduce this year to 2021 and take this one to 2022 click the restore info and follow the prompt it will successfully download the previous years then you follow the same process go back to administration and generate next class year. after you promote the next thing is for you to enter their their ca their ca can be entered either on candidate basis or on subject basis on candidate basis you click on the candidate basis now you select the year you want to enter the ca for since you have promoted them to year 3 they will be visible on the year 3 the year 3 is in 2023 you select it and then you enter the class year if your cs are not entered you are going to see them on the outstanding but right now these cs are entered so it's on the uh total class capture this is the window for you to enter the ca you can modify it from here then after this you can close this and if you want to enter it on subject basis in case you have multi a lot of students and you don't want to enter each student at a time you can come and select the subject basis select the year 2023 select whichever subject you want you will see the list of students who are valid on that very list so you enter the ca by clicking on this button and then the, the CA will be entered, you enter the number, three digit number, a uh, maximum of 100 scores. Then you press the enter key, it goes to the next one until you reach the final student. After that you would have to, uh, after you have entered your CA, the next thing is to upload. You have two options, one is to export the cast and upload it. And exporting it means you want to save it in a format that can be uploaded on your browser i'll select the year and click export verify the prompt and then the doc the folder where it has been saved will pop up this is your current cassie now for you to upload from the software you click here go to upload click the upload and follow this prompt i want to upload the entire center in case if you have already uploaded orders and you want to follow it over. but since this is the third year here i don't think the second option is uh, valuable so you select the year you want to upload i want to upload the year three i'll click select 2023 and click make sure you're connected to the internet this option will only come up if your system is connected to the internet now you put the email address of the user that is trying to upload this and then the pin 16 digit pin that the school was given by the yx state office so after that you click upload and then wait for the system to prompt and tell you that this data has successfully been uploaded now if you want to use the second option in case if the browser you don't trust the software to upload uh, maybe you had issues because sometimes the software tells you it has uploaded but it won't push the data so you can come to the browser 
make sure you follow the prompt y okay ng slash cars then when you successfully log in with this whole portal what you have to do is to come to the upload tab and click the year you want to upload then you select then you select the school data you want to upload i want to upload the 2023 year 3 and click ok and continue and upload file you will wait for the school to completely process it will pop up the same information that will come up on the software this window will also show on the software as soon as you click upload and you just have to wait for a few minutes remember this data will first uh, upload to the internet and then it will start processing it. if it successfully process it uh you would have your response showing how many students were processed how many were modified or whatever means remember the data for cars is not modifiable so it's just a single thing if a student was not uploaded it's the student should just be re-uploaded so good so as soon as you have this prompt you are very sure and i prefer the browser because whenever i see this i am sure that my students are already saved on the record you can go to report select the student list click select the year i want to check is the 2023-2024 click this So if your internet is slow, you are going to have a lot of issues because this data is it's communicating with the server, responding to the client, communicating with the server, responding to the client. So currently, I think my internet speed should be very low because I'm running other things in the background. I'm running a Linux PC, but at, as such, I'm running background updates and downloads. So it's the my subscription have to be shared with multiple softwares at the same time that is why you're going to see this kind of slowdown but after this is done it's going to download a an embedded pdf file you can download it down into your pc just to be sure or the second option is for you to go to students record we will allow it to load So this is a dynamic web page and <coughs> this uh, frame would have to load uh, pull data, I think it's using jQuery also. So it will pull this data and bring it down for you to be able to see. So whichever means if your internet is faster, you are going to receive your report faster. But for now, I think this is all about the uh, CAS3. Um, if there is any question you can just contact us just as usual on our social medias uh, you can visit our website norsonic.com.ng and see you in the next episode